Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about more details about the information that Rockstar revealed yesterday regarding the summer 2021 update in Grand Theft Auto Online, breaking down more details of that screenshot and a whole lot more. So let's actually begin there because one of the biggest questions I received was where is this location? Because this looks like this is going to be one of the like griefer free uh, car show areas or car meet zones. And a lot of people were wondering where this was because this was clearly not underground. Well, the location has actually been found and it's located right here. So it's technically in Cypress Flats. It's kind of near that one ammunition store and might be near some of your businesses. And it's located on this stretch of highway right here. And it's actually taking place in front of this giant warehouse that you guys can see right here. Now, when I was rec recording this earlier, it was a little bit rainy, so you will have to excuse that. You guys can see this is where it ultimately takes place, right again in front of this giant abandoned warehouse. Now, there's a couple of things here that make this interesting. From the screenshot that Rockstar showed off the other day, it looks like there's a couple of props that are actually missing. So it makes you wonder, if you actually do participate in a car show here or a vehicle meet, is it going to almost take you into a separate lobby? Because the world has actually changed in this screenshot. Uh, there's this mysterious light that doesn't exist in the other screenshot, and I don't think that's coming from the building. So was a light pole added? There's things like vehicles that are not there currently. There's dumpsters that have been removed. Uh, another interesting part of this location is that there is actually a giant garage. There's actually multiple garages that go into this one, but there's one sort of off to the left that's a little bit separate from the rest. So maybe there's a inside outside part to this, or maybe that's where you could bring your vehicles in and have them customized, tuned, upgraded, and performed for the actual car show. I don't know, but needless to say, the location has been found. I think this was first reported by WildBrick142 on Twitter and on the GTA forum site. So that's where it's located. And I guarantee you there's going to be more than just one of these locations. Because the first screenshot Rockstar gave us, it looked like it was actually taking place in an interior. Or at least our vehicle was leaving an interior to go outside. Maybe this was the other part of that screenshot that we didn't see. A vehicle in an inside garage getting tuned and upgraded to go outside for its car show. And I wonder if you'll be able to adjust the times of the day that you end up doing this and the weather. There's so many questions right now and so little details provided by Rockstar. Now, a couple of other things that I have noticed and you guys have pointed out as well. I believe that is a new jacket. You've got this girl with the sort of pink hair leaning up against this Karen vehicle. Uh, she actually has on a new Guffy jacket. I believe that's the only new article of clothing that was actually seen in this screenshot. A lot of people were actually wondering if the bent license plate was a new feature. That has always been the case on that version of the Sultan. So that right there is not new. Now, two other things that other people have pointed out to me. Number one, look at the guy either taking a selfie or a photo of his friend in the background. You guys might remember that our Grand Theft Auto Online characters, when they're on their phone, the phone doesn't actually come out. So I wonder if this is going to be a quality of life feature that Rockstar is going to add in this update. That when you're actually using your cell phone, your character to other people and yourself appears like they are on the cell phone. It would add just a little bit more realism to the game. So that's a nice little change if that is indeed the case. And that van or that trailer with the graffiti on the back, it looks like that could be a new version of a mule custom. In fact, trucks like these are actually very popular in Japanese car culture. They're called Dekotoras. They're basically these insane like mule style trucks that have been heavily modified and customized. I'll show you guys a couple of examples on the screen right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, these are some of the most insane looking trucks. So you know Rockstar would have a ton of fun introducing vehicles like this into the game and all the customization that you'd be able to have as well. So maybe that's an example of that new vehicle 
or maybe it's just a prop that Rockstar has thrown in there to make the car show area a little bit more like car showy and tuner and underground. I'm really not too sure, but those were the details that I have noticed from the new screenshot. Now, there's a couple more bits of information that I think are interesting regarding the uh, new update. So Rockstar actually posted again on their newswire today. And at first I thought, well, this isn't going to be a very interesting newswire because they're basically just talking about how their Circo Loco uh, Records presents Monday Dreaming. The debut compilation album is out now. So I thought it was just going to be a newswire all about music and not really anything about GTA Online per se. But at the very bottom, they do post something interesting. They said the compilation will also feature in the next Grand Theft Auto Online update with a special DJ mix version showcasing new interpretations of all 20 tracks from the album compiled and remixed by Seth Troxler. For links to listen and more, visit CircoLocoRecords.com. So I'll leave that newswire in the description if you guys are interested in the sounds and you know what Rockstar actually has to say. But it looks like we are going to be getting not only new music, but a new DJ that will be featured in the game. Most likely at the Music Locker, since that's Rockstar's like new little project. And it looks like that is going to be Seth Troxler. So, very cool stuff right there. Again, if you guys are interested in all the tracks from some artists that you might know, like Moody Man and Tale of Us, to some brand new ones like Red Axes and DJ Tennis, you guys can check out that link in the description. Now, the last thing we'll be talking about in this video today is just something that comes from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, who gave us something interesting to think about. On the GTA forum site, he said the hidden gems of this update are the go-kart races with power-ups and stuff like that. Interesting. I'm not sure what he's trying to say here is maybe don't overlook some of like the lesser known things that are going to be coming in this update. Like, for example, Rockstar has promoted this summer updates all going to be about car culture and multi-part robberies. But I'm guessing what he's saying is like, don't forget about some of the little stuff. These are the real hidden gems are going to be the exciting content. So needless to say, I'm just very, very excited for this update to arrive and for us to get our hands on everything here. But I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think of the new screenshot that Rockstar has revealed, the location of one of the new car meets? how they're going to work, the new music and DJ that will be introduced in the music locker. Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.